annual Friends of St. Francis Charity Golf Tournament. With our traditional in-person event being cancelled last year, it is so great to be back to see so many of our old friends and to meet some new participants as well. We hope that you all enjoyed a fun day of golf and camaraderie and we thank each and every one of you for being here with us today. To get started, we just have a couple of reminders. Because of current public health directives, we cannot all dine together and we thank you for your enthusiasm with our new format this year. We do not want to rush your meal time, but with limited seating capacity in the tent, we ask that you keep in mind teams coming off the course that will need a table. Also, if you haven't handed in your scorecards, please do so now. We hope that you had a chance to check out some of the amazing online auction items today in the clubhouse. The auction closes at 4 p.m. So if there's still time, please get your bids in now. Today would not have been possible without the help of our volunteers and especially to our organizing committee, including Doug Reeves, Roseanne Hoffman, Ryan Norlock, Pat Pilgrim, Rose Shulist, and John Lipinski. Many, many thanks to you all. We are also very thankful to host our tournament at the beautiful homestead at Wolfridge. Thank you to Rose Shulist, Neil and Connie O'Reilly and staff for being so accommodating and for going above and beyond with so many special touches. Kudos as well to Rose for preparing such a delicious meal. It is now my pleasure to welcome our CEO, Julia Boudreau, and COO, Greg McLeod at St. Francis, who would like to share a few words with you. Thank you. First, Aaron, I would like to thank you and your fantastic team in the Foundation Office. This has been a difficult year and a half, really, and Erin and her team have continued to amaze us through the pandemic, pivoting with wonderful new ideas and continuing to do a fantastic job raising funds for both the hospital and our other partner organizations. We would also like to give special thanks today to all of our sponsors. We have had an amazing over 100 sponsors, and this event would not be a success without each and every one of you. We've had major sponsors, family sponsors, whole sponsors, as well as folks who have donated prizes, both for our contests, as well as the online auction. So please, each and every one of you know how much we appreciate your contributions to today's um, event. Thank you. Hope everyone had a great day today and at least someone made a couple of good shots on your team. When you leave today, I want you to know that you have made a tremendous contribution to our hospital. The proceeds of the online auction and the golf tournament go directly towards supporting St. Francis Memorial Hospital in purchasing life-saving equipment. This makes it easier for all of our physicians and staff to support you in case of emergency. Thank you. Thank you, Julie and Greg. Our next guest has cared for and made a difference in the lives of so many. We know that he is excited to tell you all more about the equipment that will be purchased because of your support. Please welcome family physician and chief of staff, Dr. Jason Malinowski. Hi everyone. I've been asked by the foundation to talk about the new piece of equipment that you're playing for in today's golf tournament. This piece of equipment is called the GlideScope. And what it does is it helps the emergency room doctors and nurses help to put a tube down to help somebody breathe when they can't breathe by themselves. This is a new piece of equipment to St. Francis Memorial Hospital. We've had some equivalent ones, uh, previous versions in the past, but this now GlideScope represents uh, the latest technology uh, in being able to help our physicians maintain a patient's airway when they can't breathe for themselves. You might recall if you've done CPR courses about the ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation when you're providing first aid to someone. When a patient comes to the hospital, we also think about the ABCs and the airway as A still comes first. If someone doesn't have a properly functioning airway, then B and C matter less within those first critical few minutes. And so typically, if someone needs help breathing, we would need to put a tube down their throat to help them with the oxygen coming in and the carbon dioxide coming out if they can't do it for themselves. 
And so the GlideScope uh, is a technology where it has a video screen to help us see the right pathway to put the tube down into someone's airway to make it secure. One of the most stressful parts of being an emergency room physician is airway management in people, because without that, not much else matters. And so the GlideScope is a, is a piece of equipment that will help us uh, feel me more reassured that we are able to help someone's airway when they come in in critical condition. We have many emergency room physicians that come from communities all over Ontario um, to help us out staff, to help staff our emergency room during the summers and even during the off summer hours as well. And we often get requests about what our airway management equipment looks like. And so now with this new GlideScope, we'll be able to tell the visiting physicians that we have the top notch equipment for airway management and it's something that they're used to using in many of the big hospitals that they're coming from. So we're going to, we're going to raise money for the GlideScope, which is going to be a great benefit to me to help my stress level in the emergency department and also to help the patients maintain their airways so that uh, the rest of their patient management can go on uh, and they have a, a much better outcome. Thank you, Dr. Malinowski. We will be announcing our winning team 50-50 in contest winners after the last team comes off of the course this evening and posting the information on Facebook and email. We will give you a call on Tuesday to make arrangements to mail or pick up your prizes and online auction items. It truly does take a community to raise the funds needed to purchase essential medical equipment to ensure the best care possible for us and our loved ones. We thank you for your kindness and commitment and for always making local health care a priority. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a wonderful long weekend.